Release the Kraken! Welcome back, fellow game designers. In our last tutorial, we went ahead and made some of our blocks. And you can see I've added a few blocks to my list since then. Uh, I've got like a granite, and I've got some cobalt, and I've got some uh, a vein of cobalt with like dirt, and a vein of cobalt with the granite, and a vein of cobalt with the grass. So just various uh, ways that you can kind of mix and match these um, you know, textures. And you can actually cheat and use uh, different maps and stuff. But anyway, in this one, we're going to go ahead and create the, um, the fracture that's going to be in our block. That way, when we start actually dealing damage uh, to our block, it'll um, gradually crack over time. So without further ado, all I'm going to do is make a new layer. I'm going to call this one the uh, fracture or crack uh, layer. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my UVs on so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'll grab my cracked layer here. And let's grab... I'm going to flip this to white. If you don't see black and white on here, just press the D key. Uh, D as in dog. To reset it, I'll grab the uh, the white. Now I'll grab my brush with my square that we made from last time. And now I'm going to uh, paint along this where I want the crack to be. So up here, maybe uh, it starts out like this and kind of goes like that. You can be as, you know, vigorous as you want with uh, how this crack is going to look. And then I know that this part of uh, the top lines up with this part of this side. So if I connect here, then I have to kind of draw an imaginary line all the way through to where it's going to lead to about here. So I'm going to do that there. And if I have this one run off the edge like that. I know this one, if I do an imaginary line, wraps all the way around to about here on this one, right? Because this edge, if I connect this dot to here, lines up there, right? This goes to there. And then this bottom edge folds here to there. So this edge and this edge are together. Right, so I have to kind of like visualize where this is going to be. So that very likely will be about here. If my vision is kind of going. So I'm going to make that crack. And the bottom's not that important because we're not going to see it as much, but we should have something, you know. as well. And if I do something on the bottom, I know this very, very bottom section um, is going to line up down here. So let's see, this one edge goes there, this edge lines up with this. If this folds all the way down, where do you go? You would be here. Yeah, I think so. Let's get a crack along the top that goes here. That would come down to here. Uh, something on this side. I need to split it this way. This one would line up over here. This. And I'm actually, I'm off. This would actually line up here. This one would be, uh, this corner to here, so right about oh no no. See, even I, I get into that, that trouble as well. Uh just <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I'm second guessing myself. So this actually would be here. This one is there. Okay. So that would be here. And the way to kind of test this again is to save this out. So file, I'll save as. I'm, just, I'm going to save over the grass real quick because that's the one that I'm currently using. And I will turn the UVs off so that I can see this on the model. Targa, grab my grass. Which one? Grass, grass. Yes. Okay, so there are the cracks, and you can kind of see how they're going through. And that's not too bad. My, my lineup is not terrible. That lined up well, that lined up well. Not bad for eyeballing. You can see this one is a bit weird, and that one's a bit weird. But not bad. So I have my cracks, where they're going to go. And I'm going to say that I'm happy with that. You're welcome to go through and clean this more up. So what I'm going to do with this, I have to first off I have to resave my grass. Let me turn the cracks off again. File. Let me fix my grass real quick because I don't want to leave it broken. Grass. Yes. Okay. I'm going to take the cracks and I'm going to make a copy of this. So this is the this is my um, editing file right here. I'm going to make a copy. Turn the original off, and then it's the copy that I'm going to use to make this uh, mosaic. So filter. Um, pixelate mosaic. So there are my mosaic cracks. Hey, and then I want to save this out as a mask. Um, so I come down and turn my other ones off, and I'm going to leave this on a black background. And the reason for that is anything that is black is going to be hidden from view, and anything that is white will be shown up in the uh, in view. And we can add this, or in this case, we'll be subtracting this pattern from our texture once we get into Unreal. And I'll show you how to do that in the uh, follow-up video to this particular one. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. So file, save copy, and this is going to be the cracks. So targa uh, block underscore cracks. Awesome possum. Uh, that's all we're going to do for today, and I shall see you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the channel. Misty and I both thank you. If you enjoyed that video you just watched, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, uh, I'm getting into NFTs. Those are those are big these days. I was thinking about creating my own coin, but we'll, we'll get into that uh, at a later date. But uh, NFTs are pretty, pretty hot right now. I'm converting my artwork to NFTs. You can see my uh, rareable uh, page right here. Well, I got four items, but I'm adding one uh, as they go. They're not cheap to make, so i gotta got to make them as they go. Um, if you want to you know, support the channel other ways, of course, there's Lambda Studios merch, which you can see right here on my Teespring store, as well as Amazon. Speaking of Amazon, I have my books up there uh, under Bruce RF, which is my pen name, um, Life and Times of Dan and Martin, as well as The Guardian's Path of Ascension. You can flip through those and see the reviews and, um, yeah, you know, grab a copy, read it, tell me what you think. It helps me out as an author. It also helps me out as, you know, it all everything goes back into the stuff that I'm doing. So. Uh, more content for you. If you want to keep up with me throughout the day, or just kind of see what I'm, what's going on in life, uh, hit me up on Twitter under uh, BruceRF1. Again, that is my pen name. If you want to see uh, what's going on on my blog, RonFlowersJr.me, you can see what I'm writing about, um, what else is going on in life, uh, difficulties that I have with my uh, projects that I'm working on. Um, a lot of my devlog stuff kind of goes there before it comes here, so it's another way of kind of getting into that. I do also have a Patreon where I release content early if you want to get access to uh, things ahead of time, because uh, most of the stuff that I produce, I'd like to, I do things on Sundays and I post on Wednesdays most often, but it goes to um, Patreon first, so it's kind of there usually a week or so ahead of time and then it has a release schedule. So if you want to see things early, go there. Uh, let's see, what else? What else is going on? Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook under um, you can do the Lame Duck Studios Facebook or the Bruce RF uh, Facebook. Both of those are available. And a lot of these links are down in the description. So if you want to just like 
hit those up and just click on them and follow them through. That's another way of getting there. Also, we are at 1,300 subscribers. Woo! Uh, we're this close to 10,000, but small milestones first. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers, and then we will continue our road building toward uh, that 10,000 milestone. That is going to be pretty, pretty awesome for this channel, my humble, humble channel. So yeah, that's that's all I have for you on this outro. It's a bit of a long one with a lot of stuff going on. Anyways, stay tuned, and I shall see you next time.